what's up it's Christina and welcome back to my youtube channel I haven't been updating for I think it's two weeks yeah it's two weeks because I have been editing videos for my college and where like homework and stuff so I didn't really have time to edit two videos at one time so since those videos are already posted and I don't have to edit any more videos I'm going to film a video for you guys and post it as normal. Anyways, I broke a nail. Yeah, those are the updates. Anyways, as you saw in the title, today I'm going to be talking about the time I got accepted into my first acting agency here in Peru. This story is not too too long or too too detailed or nothing like that, but I just wanted to share this with you because I know that there's lots of people out there who want to be in an acting agency, in an agency, in a model agency, who want to be actors, actresses, models, or singers fingers anything like that and I just wanted to share my story so you know what is real and differentiate those from what is fake so anyways we go back to 2019 2019 was a very difficult time for me I was very slim to say something and I was going through a lot of difficult times with my mental health and stuff like that but I already knew since I was very little that I wanted to be an actress that's my dream being a film actress or movie actress or however you want to call it position change so I already talked to that, talked about that to my parents and they were okay with it uh, as long as I didn't leave my studies, which I don't and I don't plan to do, but they were very accepting of it. So I started following uh, different agencies through Instagram, Facebook, and when I saw that there was a post shared on a group chat on Facebook, on Messenger, that said that they were looking for new talents, new people. So I was like, oh my god, I want to go. Like, I want to show them that that I am capable of and I want myself to know that I am capable of doing this type of stuff so I signed up I sent my e through my email some information that they needed and my dad went with me so this day I think it was Friday because I got out of school I don't remember if I got out of school at when the time was when it was the leaving time or I left a minute earlier I don't really remember I think I stayed until the end of the day it was a range of 3 to like 6 p.m. when you could come and do the the line I changed my clothes and we went all the way from La Molina to Miraflores which is well I mean La Molina is very far from anything here in Peru like La Molina is another world another planet another universe so we are right there at like 4 or like 345 and we started doing a line and the line was like almost the entire block like and here in that part of Peru the blocks are very big like very large very long and it was like a lot of people and since the place was small there was an elevator that was very 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 small so they only could send three people at a time maximum so we did the line for like an hour and a half and it was our time to go up so we went up and they told us to sit down to wait because there was another group that was finishing up their auditions because it was a casting so we my group like the group I was in waited outside and I'm not kidding I was shitting my pants my anxiety was like until here and I was like I'm going to poop <laughs> I'm going to poop myself I didn't poop myself though I didn't poop but I went to the bathroom and I peed but oh my god like I remember that day with so much love and anxiety at the same time so anyways we waited for at least I think it was 10 to 15 minutes it wasn't too long we could see the office it was very professional it was a small but very professional and there were lots of people that worked there so it's not like something sketchy also my dad came with me so he could have seen it for himself if I was getting into something sketchy so we went into our room we went I think it was like seven people including my dad with me and they were people from around 50 years old 
to like 13 year old so like there was a really big age range so this person that worked there started telling us about the agency and how it worked when it was created how many talents they have uh, their success rate and I fell in love with the company. I really liked the company I really liked the person who was talking to us. He was very open and Caring friendly so that went on for like 10 minutes I'd say it was pretty long for a talk. I don't know and then some people asked some questions and They told us how we were going to audition. So it went kind of you told your age your name your height your weight what you like and then from one of those things you said you like they were going to tell you to perform something so for example there was a person that said uh, I like singing acting and dancing so they said okay dance something and they would dance something in front of the camera because they were recording because obviously they needed to check who would get in who would not get in then another person imagine they said the same and to this person they said okay sing me something and they would sing not to be bad or anything I'm not a great singer I do not consider myself a singer but there were people that you know I mean it wasn't bad okay it wasn't bad but it was like generic kind of what normal people were like normal normally good singers that aren't singers like pop stars sing if you know what I mean so anyways it was my turn and I was like my heart was pounding so hard I thought that everyone here could hear my heart like I was so scared and I was like shaking it was so 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 much anxiety going on in my head so I was like hi my name is Christina I'm 15 years old I was born in Caracas Venezuela but I live here in Peru since 2010 and I love to sing dance do makeup and act so this person told me okay then act me something and when the auditions were happening because I was looking at them we were all in one room and they were all fam filming us in front of each other so I started thinking okay if they tell me to sing I'm going to sing this song if they tell me to act I'm going to create an act like this so this is what I created it was something about a pencil and that I had lost that pencil and I knew who had stolen it from me so it was basically like a monologue but as like if I was talking to someone else so I said hey I lost my pencil where is it and then like I would tell them that I know I knew they sold it and stuff like that and they put my heart and soul and everything into that I felt that I did so good I was so proud of myself so proud of myself and when those auditions finished we got into the car and I remember telling, telling my dad I was so anxious I was so happy about what I have done and they told us that you know we they would tell us they would call us if we were in so a week passed on and you can see <laughs> ah! and I was in the car with my mom I don't remember when where we were where we were going but I remember that she was driving in like a highway and my phone started ringing and at that time not a lot of people called me so it was very strange to me I was like is that my dad but when I saw the name because I had the number of the agency so I had the name of the agency so when I saw that the agency was calling you can know how I felt I started screaming and I was like mom pull up pull up so she pulled up and I was like they're calling they're calling I'm in I'm in cuz why would they call you if you're not in right like they don't care and so I was so happy I was this I was like <gasps> I don't know I was so excited so I picked up the phone and I was like hello and they were like hi is this Christina and I was like yeah it's this is Christina and they told me basically that you're in and that they want my parents to sign a consent form kind of something like that because I was a minor and they wanted me as a talent so they needed my parents permission so that's what they did at the start of 2020 I already had a photo shoot with all my portfolio photos and I was ready to go I sent all of those to the agency the agency got them I was in and pandemic started so 
that's everything I'm going to tell you today. Nothing else has happened other than I have been talking with the agency about doing another photo shoot because obviously I don't look the same as I did on 2019. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All my social medias are going to be linked down below. If you text me, I'll text you back because I'm that kind of bitch. And see you in my next video. Peace.